Yeah, we are like two dogs. The Carstens return home to the Cape, finds Arno as creative as ever, and releasing his latest CD titled Atari Gala Warning Cry, written between here, New York, and London. But nothing can top the excitement of Baby Hayden. Hello. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Very good. Going? You're welcome. And this is Hayden. This is little Hayden. Say hello. Hi. You guys share the same hairstyle. <laughs> we do. I like the way you guys have styled him. Mm. Good Cute, choice. Eh? Yeah, come in. Let's sit down. I know it's been a very busy year for you so far. You've had your first solo art exhibition, your fourth solo album's about to be released, and the arrival of your firstborn baby. How has life changed? Um, quite hectically, uh, because um, and I can feel it in the way that I don't get to gym anymore. Uh, so this is my fattest winter. <laughs> but it's my, my most lovely... Your happiest winter. My happiest winter as well. Well corrected, Mel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, first art exhibition, if I wasn't going to do it now, I was never going to do it. So there's that, and then this is my 10th album that I'm busy with that will be coming out soon. Um, but then, you know, of course, Hayden, I think, is the biggest gift so far of the 40 years. Mel, the name Hayden Christian, have you got a certain crush on a Star Wars actor or are you guys just both big Star Wars fans? No, and it was quite weird because he was born on the 4th of May, which is when the Star Wars movie came out, and his name is Hayden Christian Carstens. They were like, okay, is there something you want to tell us? But no, it just happened by fluke. Um, his second name was always going to be Christian. Boys' names are harder than girls' names, I think. There's a cliche that when a baby arrives, it changes your life forever, but I don't think people realize just how much. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of things change. I mean, there's no things like going to the cinema for movies anymore, and sometimes you literally go to bed at 7 o'clock. And it's exactly how everyone says. It changes, and it's the hardest changes, but the best changes. Like that feeling where you're waking up at sort of 2 o'clock in the morning, where you're so tired, but still so excited to see him. They plan to get a place with a garden, though for now all the boats and trains make for a supersized baby mobile whilst they're out walking. As I understand correctly, Baby Hayden was literally seven years in the making. Yes, he was. Um, we decided seven years ago that we wanted to try and have kids. Um, you know, like everybody just thought it would happen naturally, and it didn't. Um, and uh, we had a couple of uh, failed fertility treatments, and eventually, beginning of last year, we just decided to call it quits and enjoy life just as a you know, couple without kids. And then Hayden came along. Um, a big surprise, yeah. And a very interesting story about how you guys found out, apparently. One afternoon, um, I said to Anna, I'd sort of started you know, feeling a bit sick, and I felt my clothes were really tight on me, and I just thought, you know, something's definitely wrong with me. You know, I couldn't figure out why. And Anna said to me, well, why don't we just, you know, see if you're pregnant, do a pregnancy test. And I did the test um, in a pizza parlor. Anna was ordering pizzas, and uh, I came out the pizza parlor with him sitting at the table. He had a beer, we had ordered beers. And uh, there it was, a pregnancy test on, on the table. And that was the last beer. <laughs> well, I didn't even get to drink that beer, so that was it. Yeah. Yeah. Mel, Ono and I have arranged to go and uh, spend some bonding time together, so we'll see you and the little guy a bit later. Cool, see you guys. Bye. So I thought I'd buy Mel something, uh, like a birthstone or something, because she's been such a trooper. I think this is very you, eh? Hey? Get that for you and the birthstone for Mel. This is so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's my gift to you. Thank you very much. I think you deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With Mel being Arno's wife, manager, and having given birth to his beautiful son, she was due some spoiling. I'll just keep it there for now. Hi. So I'm looking for a birthstone of my birth of my child. Okay, when was the baby born? Fourth of May. This year, I think it's a semi-precious. May? Though. No, it's emerald. Ooh. So that's precious. Quite, very precious. Yes. Have you bought your credit card. <laughs> Damn. Good idea. Cool. Okay. Have you got something? We have a little heart. Okay. If you want to have a look at that, I've got the ones on the board. If you're interested in those. Okay, but I think the heart is probably appropriate. Yeah, I think nice. so. I think Thank it would be very, very appropriate. So I'll take that. Sure. It's a pleasure. Good choice. And what about the hat? Oh, sorry. And the hat. That's on you. Like the, the hat's on me. Because yeah. so he's the guy with the credit card. Right? Yes. I charge him. He's the uh, one with the credit yes, card. Clearly, <laughs> more expensive than the heart. Card. <laughs> 
Whilst Hayden, surrounded by all the buzz of his dad's new album, Arno would prefer it if his son became a nice, quiet doctor, who also spoils his mum. I prefer children with something special. Ah! Oh, did you? Nice. Oh, something for you, my boy. Look. Maybe something inside is there for mothers. Oh, cute. What's that? I have to dig around in the shoe. <laughs> it's like a Cinderella, the opposite of. Oh, Baba, that's so cute. Oh, Thank you. It's the best, Picked oh, it up all by beautiful. himself. Thank you. Chiku, chiku, mwah. Yes. Do you want to take the baby? Yeah. He's been very busy all afternoon. I think he might need a little lullaby. Oh, no, I can definitely see a bit of a softer side coming out in you. Is this going to affect your songwriting? Definitely a uh, softer side coming out, but I don't think it will affect the songwriting. Um, I think we're very lucky that we had the child at this later stage in our lives because um, this is when things calm down for you and um, I think it's pretty, pretty appropriate. Music, art and a baby. Life's pretty full in the Carstens' house. Stop.